Johnny, are you ready to learn how to cook? This may not be something you think of doing as a boy growing into manhood, but you want to learn how to cook. So we're going to spend this episode in doing something that's actually pretty easy. We've got some leftover pumpkin in the fridge and I need to use it. And we've got a cookie mix that is pumpkin chocolate chip. So we're just going to take a, this video and show you the process. I want you to figure out what you're going to cook. Maybe cook some eggs, bacon and eggs, maybe one of my favorites, macaroni and cheese. Learning how to cook is going to help you gain confidence. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Cooking from a mix is actually pretty easy, but it's a good way to get you started in cooking. So we're going to use this one. This one happens to be one that we have on hand. Lehigh Roller Mills, not sponsored. I'll work on that. Uh, but the directions are on the side. So whenever you're cooking something, uh, the directions will be on the box. In this case, we need two ingredients and the mix. So the ingredients are a third cup of vegetable oil, which we have some here. So we need to use a third a cup of vegetable oil and eight ounces of pumpkin in a bowl. So let's go to work. So the directions are mix the contents of the package with one third cup of vegetable oil. Now, your stepdad here is a little OCD. If I pour this in, then I've got the dry on the bottom and the liquid goes on top and then you got to mix it up. I'm going to actually put the liquid in first because then it's easier to mix. My opinion, OCD engineering talk. Here's the third cup. So this is how much oil we need. And that is a third of a cup. So we'll put that in. This has moisture, but it's not a liquid. So I'm going to go ahead and put the dry on top of that. Dump that in the bowl. Ooh, it smells good. It does kind of remind me of Christmas because that's when we tend to have pumpkin chocolate chip bread from the local bakery and pumpkin around Thanksgiving. Okay, so now we've got the oil and we've got the mix, but we need eight ounces of the pumpkin. If we could buy pumpkin in eight ounces, then we would have it just the amount we need. I need to get eight ounces. This is a scale that measures in different units. And we're going to, you probably can't see it in that one, but uh, what we can this one. Right now it's in grams. I'm going to change the units until it's in ounces because that's what the box says. So this is pounds and ounces. If I put this on and then zero it, then I know I'm in ounces. Now I can just scoop some in there until it goes to eight ounces. But now I'm going to put this on there and just see. Okay, it is over eight ounces. This is 11 ounces of what's in there still. So we're going to go ahead and scoop out until we have eight ounces. Oh, I overshot. 8.9 ounces. Okay, so, ooh, that's perfect. Eight ounces is what's in there now. Some of it will leave on the side, so I'm going to put just a tad extra in. So now I've got eight ounces of pumpkin. Let me scrape it out. All right, so now it's all in here. This is all the ingredients. That's pretty easy to put together. Uh, we have leftover pumpkin here still. So now I'm just mixing the ingredients. I've got, I've got the blender that I'm going to use here too, and we could just do it by hand. We'll see how it mixes. Maybe I'll just do it by hand but the blender will do it faster. But if you put it in when it starts and all the powder is not at least moist, then the power blender sometimes will shoot the powder around and you got more of a mess. Uh, this is clumping up now, as we would expect. Oh, I should have looked at... Normally, the first instruction on a box is to turn the temperature on the oven and set it and then we bake them for that temperature. I'm gonna turn the oven on now because we haven't turned that on yet. All right, so now we're mixing it around. Tell me in the comments what your favorite thing to cook is. If you've done any cooking before and what your favorite thing to do is. Um, if you like to cook, if you don't like to cook, you're gonna have a homework assignment and that's to figure out what you wanna cook and then cook it. And even if it's macaroni and cheese or ramen soup, those are a couple of uh, adult or uh, college age favorites. Easy. 
not particularly nutritious, but they were one of my staples when I was growing up. All right, this is mixing up pretty well. It's actually getting kind of moist now. I'm going to switch spoons to a wooden spoon. I'm actually not going to use this because it's mixing up well enough. This is just more I'd have to clean up. I got it there just in case. I'm going to switch to a wooden spoon and go back and forth. And just make sure it's mixed good and uniformly. If it's not, when you have the cookie and you take a bite, you might get a bite full of powder that wasn't blended well. And you just want to make sure it's good and mixed. One time when I was a kid growing up, I'd learned how to cook like three different things. Uh, bacon, eggs, and toast, right? <laughs> three different things. <laughs> and I wanted to, uh, so I, I pretended I was at a restaurant and made a menu and taped it to our living room window. My uncle and aunt were coming by to visit that day and they thought it was so cute. I think they ordered breakfast from me. I don't know if I actually cooked it for them or not. All right, this is actually looking kind of almost too moist now. But we put in the ingredients per the recipe in the right amounts, so we're going to go with it. And the first time you make something, if you're not sure, if it doesn't look right, go with the instructions and the ingredients in the amounts they have and try it. You may make adjustments the next time you do it. So if I were to make this another time, after I bake these and it feels like they were too runny, then maybe I'd add a little flour to it or a little less oil or something like that. I'm going to go with the recipe instructions the first time. And I think we're probably mixed like we need to. So the next instructions are put these, spoon them onto a greased cookie sheet. So here's a cookie sheet. Here's the grease. You can use spray if you want. Canola oil spray. I'm kind of old-fashioned because this is what mom always did, so that's what I'm going to do. If you spray this on and then it bakes in between, then where you've sprayed it tends to burn a little bit on the cookie sheet over time. You can clean that off too. But I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way, even with my fingers, and scoop out some all vegetable shortening and grease the pan with that. That's probably more than I need. Well, maybe not. And this is just because that's how I did it as a kid. Sometimes we would use wax paper so we weren't fingers direct on it. But that's kind of like picking your nose with a Kleenex on your finger. You can't really function as well. So it's just easier to do it with your fingers directly. So now we've got grease on the cookie sheet. Next thing is to put the cookie dough on the pan. All right, can you imagine how good this is gonna be once we're eating them? All right, does it say what size? Drop a spoonful onto a greased cookie sheet, bake cookies at 375 for 15 to 18 minutes. Makes 26 cookies. Okay, so we'll see. 26, I'm probably not gonna fit 26 on one. Well, oh, probably do better to have two metal spoons for this part. All right, so we'll do I want to get at least three across, but um, when it's when it's running like this, the risk is when they bake, they're going to spread out and run into each other. I hope you guys know I do these because I grew up without a dad and I know it was tough. Now, cooking is something I learned from my mom. I don't know if dad would have showed me that when I'm sure he could have cooked if he was with us. But the main thing I want you to get is confidence in your ability. So as you grow into being a man, particularly for you boys, that you'll have just that, the confidence to do that successfully. All right. Now the instructions say 15 to 18 minutes. I'll always set it for the lower end. And uh, you can always cook things longer, but you can't un uncook them if you've cooked them too long. 
All right, Johnny, we're gonna stop it now and see what they look like when they come out of the oven. We're down to the one minute mark. I got hungry, so I put some ramen on too, and that's gonna end the same time as the cookies. Oh, and there it's three minutes. I'll turn this off. Stop the timer. And uh, the bread mixer is mixing in the background, so I apologize for that noise. I gotta get my flavoring in on my ramen here. Ooh. But the pumpkin smells good. This is a problem with your stepdad, is trying to do more than one thing at a time. Sometimes that causes problems. Other times it's more efficient. All right, we're going to peek into the oven here as soon as I do this. And that's mixed in there now. And now we're going to peek into the oven and see. And they look pretty good. I think they're going to come out. So we need hot pads and a hot pad to set the tray on. And I'll put it right here. Ooh, there they are. Try not to burn your hands on the tray. That's what hot pads are for. Kind of like when we're using power tools. We want to have safety precautions in here as well. All right, so I'm going to take these off. They come off nice and easily because we put the oil on them. And now we let them cool a little bit and they are going to be delicious. So now we've got the first batch cooling on the cookie racks. Give them just a couple minutes. So now we're going to drop the rest of the batter on and get those cooking. All right, stepsons, we're down to the last minute on the second tray when the timer goes and take them out. So tell me in the comments what you liked about this video. Uh, tell me if you like pumpkin chocolate chip cookies or tell me what your favorite flavor is. And uh, I look forward to hearing about that stuff. All right, I hope in all these videos that you watch, Johnny, that you know that I'm thinking about you, that I love you, and that our cookies are done. Round two looks pretty good. So now we get to test them on the cooled ones. Well, pretty good. We're gonna take these with us on a trip tomorrow. Hi, honey. I found the pumpkin in the fridge. I wanted to use it before. Oh, okay. Before all of it was moldy. <laughs> so I mixed the last recipe up here. It smells good in here. Uh, yeah. It well, really okay. Good. So I ate this one. You try one and tell me what you think. Okay. This one? Whichever one you want. Mm. Thank you. It's really good. Mm. Thank you. Stepsons, always remember two lessons that I want you to get from every video. Number one, you can succeed even though your dad may not be in your daily life. You've got to choose to be the kind of dad you want to be when you grow up. Number two, always remember your stepdad loves you. I'll see you on the next video. your flavor your flavor favorite is do you realize that my wires are caught okay and it's catching again okay